Uh, yeah, the gym's been open now um, approximately 30 years. It's sort of like part and parcel of the town Middlesbrough, yeah. Right, um. A lot of gyms these days, especially the big commercial gyms, I find them a little bit faceless. Um, I see Still City as more of like a community gym, um, a hub for the town. Uh, so you're getting people from all walks of life. Um, I also feel that it's more of a training gym, as in these days a lot of gyms are more like leisure centres. I think Steel City is a bit more spit and sawdust and generally people come here to train more than sit on the phone or watch the television or go in a sauna or whatever. So uh, predominantly I would say this gym is more like a rocky, hardcore, you come here to train. I think, um, well I know, it, this gym has definitely got a stigma attached to it. Back in the 90s, um, when I'd say, this, this gym's a bodybuilding gym, so it was more prevalent in the 90s when everyone was bodybuilding. There was a lot of big characters in here, naughty characters. Anyone who was anyone in Middlesbrough would train in here. So Steel City has always got that stigma attached to it. Now, even though fitness has sort of evolved, um, as you see on the streets, there's not that many big lads walking around now. More people are more sort of looking more towards the MMA or fitness look or healthy abs and so that gym will always have that stigma attached to it but um, I sort of like it, I like that, that you know, oh I wouldn't go in there, um, I like that stigma that it's attached to it because it's cool and um, as you can see it's once people are in here and uh, you've been here a little bit while and, and it's dead friendly and there's not like, you're like, oh God, it's not that bad. It's not like, it's just normal lads and lasses are in here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, I've competed. I've done about eight, nine shows. So yeah, I've always followed bodybuilding. Uh, I, I've done, um, I've, I've, I've done Mr. My first, very first show was the Mr. York show. I've done Mr. UK. I've done a Mr. Novice Britain. I've done a Mr. Universe in Germany. Uh, I represented the company and come second in that. Uh, I've won the Novice Britain, um, I've won the Mr UK, so I've been quite successful in my bodybuilding. Um, that was sort of one of the reasons why I had the opportunity to take over the gym. The last owner offered me, you know, give me the opportunity to do that. Um, and I also feel that he offered me it because I, um, I'm always trying to help people out and friendly and trying to fetch people on and encourage and you know, so. I think a lot of the old school and the, the proper trainers, they'll, they'll know to normally put your things back in, back in the racks and whereas the, the newer gyms, I don't know, you might have a few young little gym instructors walking around like, I don't know, I'm not being awful but they might not be as respectful towards them and because this is more of a hardcore gym, the, the etiquette's already ingrained in, in the person in general. In general. Now, there's been a lot of, over the years, as, like I said, it's been 30 years this gym. We've had a lot of top quality bodybuilders come through, experienced trainers. Not being disrespectful to other gyms now, but I feel that like a lot of the people that go in these gyms are just like, uh, I don't know. The, the generation of people that I think is, is getting softer. They go in these other gyms now and the machines do all the work for you. Um, like I said, you've got plants, you've got televisions. Um, it, it's, it's a nice, comfortable environment. Still City's not like that. Its identity is hardcore. There's a lot of experienced people in here. So I think a lot of people will come back to it because they get knowledge all the time where they wouldn't get that in other gyms. Um, it's, I, I don't worry, but what I see is because this is predominantly a bodybuilding gym, I, I see bodybuilding on, on the slide. I don't see, I, what, what happens now when you go to a lot of bodybuilding shows, I mean, I was at one on Saturday, and a lot of the classes now are like athletic classes and uh, these uh, beach body classes where, where they wear long shorts and they don't train the legs. Uh, so on that, I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way, but that's just the way fitness is, you know, the evolution of fitness is going. So really, looking at this gym, you'd like, oh, it'd be a bit of a worrying thing, because this is predominantly a bodybuilding gym. But on the reverse hand, the gym is doing fantastic. Uh, when I took the gym over, there was no girls in here. I've got about maybe 15, 
20 girls in here now. So, it, it, you know, that's just the thing, and all that coming and train. But again, that's because of the way fitness has evolved. A lot of lasses wouldn't touch a weight before. Um, they'd be like, oh, I don't want to get too muscly. Now they're realising with all these uh, Instagram and Facebook, social media, you can squat, you can deadlift, and you're not going to get chunky. You know, it's, you know, you get the nice bone and legs and tone. And so on the, on the flip side, um, I just aim to make this gym as best as possible. Um, the, the, another thing, there's a lot of commercial gyms out there now, and these big, soulless, faceless gyms are taking over these independent gyms. But um, I'm, I'm in for the challenge to battle and to keep Steel City open for as long as possible. I, this gym, I, I think it's blessed and it's not going down, especially when I've I put all my effort and love into it because I'm so passionate about it working. 